The Grand Valley State men's and women's track and field teams concluded an exciting two-day snowdown showdown meet over the weekend. They collected multiple NCAA Division II qualifying standards and broke three school records. Joining us now to recap the weekend is head coach Jerry Baltus. And coach, great shirt on you here today as we welcome you in. Start out on Friday night, an awesome start to the weekend with some school records. What happened? Yeah, Lindsey Strutz, uh, uh, our, our multi-combined uh, athlete in the pentathlon, uh, you know, it's uh, five events in a row. You had 30 minutes break in between each event. Uh, had, a, had a banner day, just was solid across the board. I think three lifetime bests and our other two uh, performances right at. So, uh, you know, to, to get a school record, I think, by 100 points and get it on that provisional mark was a great effort for Lindsey. She wasn't the only freshman to impress. Taryn Chapko did as well. Yeah, our, our freshman crew, we got a great freshman crew. So Taryn was great in 800 and then probably uh, uh, more importantly, uh, she was a leg on her 4x4 team that uh, ran 344. Um, we had two freshmen on there. Um, Mercedes Chandler ran a great leg too and, and then coupled with a couple upperclassmen and Jess Eby and then uh, always reliable Nicole Shreenan with a huge leg on the end. But uh, yeah, we got a handful of freshmen uh, racing really well. Mentioned Chapko. Uh, Ashley Perryman's running well, mentioned Mercedes Chandler, and then Karina um, uh, Courser in the 60 hurdles uh, run really well, uh, ranked eighth in the country right now. So we're really excited about the, this freshman class and, and how they're progressing. Yeah, how about Nicole Shreenan, though, a seven-time All-American. Doesn't seem like she's slowing down at all here in her senior year. No, it's exciting. Uh, she tied her school record in the 60, uh, just running away from the field. And then, as I mentioned, came back and anchored our 4 by 4 with a 52-4 split, which is just uh, incredibly fast. Uh, it's our fastest split we've ever recorded uh, in school history. She'll get some great competition this weekend. I think she's going to have a couple 52-51 uh, point quarter milers in the field uh, as long as the weather allows those people to get here. So I think we're going to see some even faster things out of Nicole coming forward here. Yeah, we'll preview that big meet in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the field events now for the women as another couple of really nice showings on that side as well. Yeah, um, Eliane Kimes uh, had a great uh, a vault day, uh, clearing 416. Uh, so usually Coach Lou has them ready to go. They jump well during the regular season and then jump even uh, better in the postseason, championship season. So for her to jump that high this early, is just outstanding, and I'm sure Coach Lou and, and the, the rest of the ball crew will be ready to go when championship season comes around. So excited to see that. And then Judith uh, SMI in the, in the weight through had another uh, personal best, uh, season best, so uh, ranks her number one in the country. So we, we've got, a, on our women's side, we got a lot of people ranked up there. Our mid-distance distance crew had a good day, too, with uh, Claudia O'Malley running a five-second lifetime best in the mile, and then Hannah Roski in the 3000 run 932 some just solid performances we really had a great meet uh, all the way up and down the lineup and it's important to mention there were some max schools there's some really good competition this past weekend as well for some great showings on the women's side and on the men's side max took first place in the pole vault leon white another great showing in the weight throw you had some nice men's side field events as well yeah we've just been solid uh you know um we talk about just making steady progress so uh hunter harding uh in the weight leon white in the weight uh, had great performances moves them up the list uh hopefully uh will be good enough but i'm confident uh, coach matt's uh, gonna have them ready to throw a little bit further uh, down the road uh eli kosaiba a freshman of ours in the high jump uh had a, a one centimeter lifetime bass so that that was really really good and then, Coach, when you turn to the track, I mean, it's been a great one-two punch for you with Isaac Harding, the transfer, and then Tanner Chata, who would have a couple of school records if Harding wasn't one leg ahead of him basically yeah. every time. Yeah, just outstanding. I mean, one of the uh, greatest uh, races uh, in our facility uh, ever. Uh, four guys under uh, 756 or 756 and change. Uh, just an exciting race. Uh, you know, our, our announcer, Scott Hubbard, been around the sport for a long, long time and, and uh, called Olympic uh, uh, Olympians in races and whatnot. And he said that was one of the most exciting races ever. So Harding gets his second school record for us, you know, the grad transfer from uh, U of M. Uh, his PR uh, before coming to GV was 810 in the 3000 and went out and ran 753. So 17 second improvement over the course of the last six months is just outstanding. But I also want to give a shout out with Tanner Chatta. You know, he actually took the lead in the race with uh, two laps to go, so sort of uh, kept it going, made it happen. Uh, but like you said, uh, Tanner would have had two school records here had it not been for Harding. But because they're training together, working together, 
uh, pushing each other, you know, we're seeing some huge, huge in, in, uh, improvements and performances. Just to put that in perspective, uh, they broke Zach Panning's school record of 801. A professional runner. A professional runner, and we know how good Zach was uh, in our program over the course of the year his career so two guys under 801 at 753 756 just outstanding scott spancher and stephen st john leading your talented freshman class as well on the track side before we let you go coach let's turn our attention to the big meet always an exciting weekend of course this week's gonna look a little bit different than years past but still it should be a great one right yeah absolutely you know with with covid we ha we had to restructure things uh, you know, normally Friday is just a free for all. We bring the best talent in the country uh, into the meet. Um, some teams bring uh, 20 athletes, some bring teams bring two. So we had to structure it more like a team meet. So uh, we'll have uh, 10 to 12 teams um, Friday afternoon, 10 to 12 teams Saturday afternoon, uh, more structured like we've been doing it. Open fives, threes in the morning. Uh, you know, we got a few things left to get done. We got to get the DMRs done Saturday morning, get them qualified. Five uh, Ks. You know, Chad and, and Harding and and uh, our top ladies will come back. Uh, we got to get them uh, uh, qualified. And then, you know, we still got some spots across the board that, that we need to take care of some business. So, um, you know, our 800 crew. You mentioned uh, Spencer and uh, St. John doing a great job. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to uh, Jackson Blanchard and the hurdles had a great run. Makaya Smallwood and the hurdles had a great run. So our hurdle crews uh, looking really strong on the men's side too. So yeah, we should see some uh, great, great performances, uh, great competition, and uh, hopefully take that next step uh, to towards the GLIAC championships and getting a few more people into the NCAA championships. Campus is always a buzz when the big meet is in Allendale. We're looking forward to it, Coach. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Jake.